Okay. So, all right, let's see. I want to put an elbow back here. It doesn't look like much, does it? <laughs> well, I'm gonna try and see if I can get two legs into one. I think this is gonna have to be separated somewhat. Let's just really work the heck out of that. Now, for me, I find if it's on my dog, then I really understand what's happening. All right, so let's get it on him. Now, lots of times I knit in the contour of the shape, and what I mean by that is, see how I'm going around his buttocks, <laughs> you know, and then not only does that contour your shape, but your wool or his fur will grow in that direction too, I suspect. Kind of like hair on your head, it doesn't just grow straight out. A lot of people have a crown and that is like following the contour of your head. All right, so that seems about the right height. I don't like getting things stick to my elbow. All right. I got to get my working space a little more organized. I can't really work in chaos. I like a nice, neat working space. This needle's supposed to be over here. So. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not, but um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna like that at all. So, I'm gonna cut it off. No likey. Now, see, when the problem when you cut, you got fibers that are all the same length, and you have to kind of work at that to uh, get it to knit together. That's a problem with cutting. But you can always add more on top. Yeah, see, so if I do that, now let's look. All right, let's put this where that goes. All right, this is gonna come back. I'm just drawing this thing the way I want it. Now, basically his legs look pretty straight because of his hair. So, but, right? Pull this out. All right, I'll put some up in here to support that leg. Now, you know, you can run, uh, whatchamacallit, floral wire if you want up in there you know you can do that I did that with the basset hound in order to support him in this front leg I ran some of that floral wire up in there 
because, uh, you know, the head is heavy and, you know, so I ran some right up into there and that helped me support the dog. Yeah, I know Remington, he would sculpt his cowboys on the horse and he would do the leg muscles and the deltoids on his shoulders and biceps, all the anatomy. And then he would wrap the clothes around it. And that's what, you know, I guess really added to his pieces of sculpture, which, you know, is twice the work, but it gives you a good result. I gotta make this leg nice and dense. So, so I don't want his legs to be too flimsy. Right? Even though they're hairy. See, so when you press this, com keep compressing it, it gets skinnier and skinnier. But you do want to have, you don't want it too smushy. Got to get it firm. You know, and then when you do your colors on top, you can, uh, See, his head should be like that, and the ears will hang like that. All right. So this is too weak here. Plus, it's more flat than round. His legs are roundish. something. Alright, now that doesn't look much like a paw. So, I'm gonna ball up some This thing out of here. Put it on this side. I have more work on that. Right, let me see if I can't get the other side in. And we'll take what I cut off and add it to some more wool. Get a little more, you know, a real time saver instead of adding layers of wool to your shape, you know, just go ahead and get it about the shape you want and then twist it on around, right? And then you can, you know, knit it together. Turn it, leave this up here so you can attach it easier. Let's put the elbow joint in. This leg will be against the backing board, so 
it's not that critical. picked up some goobers in my crinkling. Just pull them out. I'm working on some other things that I'll share with you in another video. <laughs> They're kind of funny. And they're cute. I'm gonna do some more, so maybe I'll show you how I did it. But you're gonna have to wait and see. Okay, so. Now, let's see if I put that leg a little forward, just a little bit. That gives it a little more dimension, doesn't it? So, that seemed like a good spot for it. Let's poke them in there. Right. Now, this, 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 this looks like it, the foot is deformed. So, as you can tell in the picture, he kind of stands, not pigeon-toed, but duck-footed. Where his paws come out. So I can change that, no problem. Okay. Now, one of the things is when you're working on this dog, is everything kind of gets in the way. Get on there. I want to have everything secure. See, this is flimsy. I'll stuff some up in here. <laughs> Sorry there, pal. Appreciate it in the long run. Now, of course, I don't want his legs that far apart, but give him some meat to hold it in there, right? starting to come together. All right, of course, I gotta do a lot more work on there. So what I'll do now is uh, get my front legs together and we'll do that on uh, the next video. All right. <laughs>